Stonewall Inn is probably the best known site around the country for LGBTQ history and activism, but there are hundreds of other locations that have amazing stories behind them. In buildings grand and nondescript, locations famous and private, there's a rich LGBTQ history in just about every corner of New York City. We like to say that we're making an invisible history visible. Andrew Dolcart is the co-founder of the NYC LGBT Historic Sites Project. We have posted on our site over 350 sites, and we have a list with well over double that number. Uh, that, that we would like to, to add. Locations on the Historic Sites Project provide walking or armchair tours in the five boroughs. For example, on Staten Island, there's the Alice Austin House. Alice Austin was a, a pioneering woman photographer. When it became a house museum, they refused to acknowledge that there was any lesbian relationship. Through the work of the Historic Sites Project, Austin's sexuality is now embraced as part of her cultural contributions. Some of her provocative images included women dressed in male drag. Austin's lived in the home with Gertrude Tate, her partner of 53 years. The Westside Tennis Club in Queens was the home of the U.S. Open for over 60 years, featuring history-making players such as Martina Navratilova and Billie Jean King. This is where Renee Richards, uh, who was the first trans woman to compete in a professional tournament, uh, played. And this was very controversial, as this still is today. Other historic sites include the entire theater district. We have uh, listed every single Broadway theater. Dilkart says LGBTQ contributions are critical to all aspects of this business, from the artistic to the technical. There's dozens of historical residents to peruse, too. St. Luke's Place was home to famed director Arthur Lawrence. Playwright and gay activist Larry Kramer lived at 2 Fifth Avenue. Harlem Renaissance poet Lanston Hughes on East 127th Street. And there's the Lexington Avenue home of artist Andy Warhol. Literary icon James Baldwin's Row House on West 71st Street is listed on the National Registry, as is the Bleecker Street home of playwright Lorraine Hansberry. It's where she wrote A Raisin in the Sun, the first play on Broadway that was written by a black woman, the first play by a black woman to to win the New York Drama Circle Critics Award. The Church of the Holy Apostles is also more than a noted New York City landmark. It has this really important social history that relates to the LGBT community because it was the home of many of the earliest post Stonewall activist organizations from 1969 to 1974. Also relative to Stonewall was the Wooster Street Firehouse, headquarters of the Gay Activists Alliance. In the early 1970s, they were involved in civil rights activism. They were involved in trying to end the entrapment of gay men and lesbians. The GAA moved out of that building in 1974 because of a fire allegedly set by a homophobic arsonist. And that firehouse is also part of the Soho Cast Iron Historic District.